Hi, my name's Paul Murray. I'm Technology Integration Specialist at Portage Public Schools. And uh, today I have a template that I want to share with you. Uh, if you've ever used the uh, Flippity Random Name Picker, you're going to love this template. So what you need to do is just this link that I've given you. Uh, it's a template preview. Just go ahead and click Use Template. Now that this Google Sheet has loaded, uh, you'll see here that you have um, a document add-on for Flippity. Uh, you can use that, um, but we're just going to close that for the purposes of this demonstration. Um, what you need to know is that uh, you want to have the Flippity add-on installed in your Google Sheets. Um, you can check for that under add-ons. You'll see it here. Uh, if you don't see it, you'll need to add it. The way to add it uh, is to go to uh, my instruction sheet. And you can see the setup directions here in column F. Uh, and it has a direct link to the Flippity add-on. Just go ahead and click uh, on that link. It'll open up a new tab. You can see mine's installed. Yours will be free. Please just go ahead and click on that. Um, uh, choose the account uh, that you want to attach it to and then uh, accept any permissions that it asks for by clicking Allow. Go ahead and close that tab. Um, you will now see that add-ons uh, should have Flippity in here. Um, once it does, it's going to ask you to pick a template. You're going to go ahead and say, pick a template. You're going to see Flippity has some pretty awesome tools like flashcards and certificates and quiz shows. But we are going to move through each of these until we get to the fourth one, which is the random name picker. I'm going to go ahead and choose Use. That's going to build the template. Once the template has finished building, uh, you're going to see this Flippity link here. You're going to want to grab that. You can get it later if you need it. You're going to right click on that link and choose copy link address. So that'll be stored in your clipboard. Um, and you're going to want to make sure that you go to file publish to the web uh, after you're done with this. So go ahead and click close. Go to file. Publish to the web. Mine's already published. You're going to want to make sure you click the button that's here. Go ahead and publish everything and uh, make sure you don't have any sensitive student data in here. I would just use first names and initials. Um, and then uh, once you have that link, uh, if you want to just right click over this link and you can scroll down to edit link and delete the old link, throw the new link in, click apply, and that'll take you to the flippity board. You might get a periodic heads up window like this. If you are if you know you're trying to change something because I've told you to change it or you know that's a change you want to make, go ahead and click OK. Um, but this warning will come up in several different places in this template um, because it's telling you, hey, you might not want to change what you're about ready to change. So just make sure that uh, that's a, a choice and not by accident. So I'm going to go ahead and click OK. I do want to change that URL. And then I've got a little note on this URL too about you can always just bookmark the link. So if you couldn't get that to work, that's fine. You can always just bookmark the link to the Flippity uh, and I would recommend to this spreadsheet as well. So I'm going to go ahead and click on that link and that's going to load my Flippity board and you'll see all my names in here and I've got a spinner which is fantastic for choosing students uh, to participate. I've got a group generator. I have team generator. Um, pretty great stuff here. So I'm going to come back though because to my spreadsheet I want to make sure I can use this for all my hours. So I have hours 1 through 7 listed here on different sheets. Um, you're going to see now though that this first sheet is called demo. And it looks a little different than this template was, um, how this template was originally set. You can even see the colors are a little different. Um, that's something Flippity does when it installs. So we need to reset that back to the template that I designed. 
Um, to do that, I've actually installed um, these new functions in this custom menu here. So under reset function, uh, go ahead and click on that. And uh, we have reset demo to student list. When I click on this for the first time, it's going to ask me to authorize this script to run uh, on your system. Uh, so um, again, this is you just deciding that you want to have this to run, to reset this page. It'll make your life easier, trust me. Go ahead and click continue. Select the account that you want to uh, have this set up for. Um, and then you just take a real quick look at the permissions that the script is asking for. Make sure you always trust who you're getting these things from and also make sure that the permissions make sense for what, uh, what this is trying to do. Uh, these do, so go ahead and click allow. Once uh, that's been accepted, it's going to start running the script. And the first question on the script is, are you sure you really want to reset the demo sheet? Your answer should be yes. So I reset that. You'll see a few slight changes here. Um, and you'll see that the student list, uh, that changed as well. Uh, that list of names is different because that's actually got a little formula in here that's pulling it from another sheet, actually from first hour. So if I switch, and this is something the Flippity template doesn't do, if I switch to hour two or hour three or hour whatever, you're going to notice that that list of names changes. Yay! Fantastic. So now I can use one spreadsheet and one Flippity board for all my classes. So that's how to get that portion set up. Here's how to use the sheet. Now that I'm on hour three, if I come back to the random name picker and I reload the page, now that I've refreshed the page, you're going to see a new list of names come up. Fantastic. I go back to the spreadsheet, and let's say I want to go to my first hour class. I go ahead and do that. I come back to this flippity, and I reload the page. And fantastic. I have a new list of names come back to my spreadsheet, and let's say somebody in first hour is absent. In fact, I'm missing three kids, William, Ben, and uh, Amy. All three of them are missing for today. You'll notice how the lists update automatically. This new list is the list that's being passed back to the student list sheet. And on the student list sheet, that is the sheet that Flippity is using to build its list of students. So if I reload again, my absent students are gone. Fantastic. Go ahead and go back to the uh, spreadsheet, and you can do that for every class. You'll see uh, first hour, we did that. Second hour, you know Jody's not going to be here. She's on vacation. Uh, Rhonda's got an appointment. Uh, Tammy's just ill today. And you go to third hour, and the same thing. You can change, you know, whoever you want just by checking or unchecking them and bringing back. Oops, I made a mistake. Joseph is here today. So uh, you can see my, my lists are dynamic. Um, one of the problems that you might have, though, is uh, now you have to go back the next day, and you have to reset all those absences. Well, that's just annoying. So I've tried to make it a little less annoying. I've written another function up here uh, under reset function to reset absences. So if I click on this, it's just going to go through. And you'll notice the checkboxes are reset. The names repopulate in the list. I come back and check my first and second hour classes. And you'll notice that, hey, guess what? All those checkboxes have been checked again, too. Awesome. Thank you. All right. So um, now my absences are all set. My boards are all set. You can just come in here and, and add names, uh, remove students that have dropped your class, um, add students that uh, have come in new. And it really is up to you to maintain this, this list. Um, just enter in all your kids. And uh, if you don't have any kids this hour, well, that's OK. You can just get rid of all the kids for this hour. Gone. None selected is what's going to show up if I go back to hour one. No big deal. I just don't have any kids that hour. Third hour, they're all my students. 
Uh, I hope this has been very helpful to you, and I hope you get a lot of great use out of this, making your classroom instruction more effective and more efficient.